Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we'll be ranking the four collaborations between James Stewart and Alfred Hitchcock. So let's get into it. A while back, I ranked, well not a while back, but uh, not too long ago I ranked the four collaborations between Cary Grant and Alfred Hitchcock, and that was a, a lot of fun. So now that I've seen all of Stewart and Hitchcock's collaborations together, I decided Let's rank them, because, you know, why not? And I love all four of these films, because when I did the Cary Grant video, I only loved three out of the four. Now I love three out of the four. But then I loved two out of the four, and the other two were either great or just good. But these are all amazing films, and ones that I highly recommend you guys check out. So I just want to say that before we start. So now let's just get into the list. Number four is the remake of one of Hitchcock's older films, The Man Who Knew Too Much, which came out in 1956. It stars Stewart and Doris Day, who actually TCM honored yesterday with their Doris Day Day for Summer Under the Stars. She was one of the summer uh, people who were featured on Summer Under the Stars. I checked out two of her films. I do want to check out more of her films. She might be one of my actors slash actresses of the month, but I maybe like in a few months I'll showcase her and watch more of her movies but she's a great actress and I think she gives probably the best female performance in a Hitchcock film in this one I like James Stewart in this one but I don't love him as much as I do in so many other Hitchcock films that he's in the other three performances are absolutely amazing and all of his other work with like Frank Capra George Marshall George Marshall are just great um so like this one he gives a great performance but it's like not as good as you know Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, It's a Wonderful Life, the three other Hitchcock films, you know, The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance, you know. So, the plot, I'm just going to tell you guys the plot. It's about this family who goes to Morocco, uh, Doris Day, James Stewart, and their son. They go to, uh, to Morocco for holiday. They meet this elderly couple who um, decide to watch the their son while Doris Day and James Stewart go have a little fun on holiday. Uh, they met a man on the, on the bus ride to Morocco and they're a bit suspicious of him and in fact he's a spy and and while they're on like on holiday uh, they he comes to them in his last moments before he dies telling them of this of some, uh, I'm not the greatest at explaining plots, but he explains to them there's going to be an assassination at the Albert Hall very, very soon, and when they learn of this news, he dies, and they discover that their child has been kidnapped by that elderly couple, spoiler alert, to silence them, because they, the people who kidnapped the child know that they know the plot to assassinate someone at the Royal Albert Hall. So it's just such an engaging movie and the sequence at the Albert Hall is so suspenseful. It was at on I was on the edge of my seat and I was like scared like I mean I saw the original so I technically knew what was going to happen but I still like was on the edge of my seat and this was definitely one of the best sequences in a Hitchcock film. It was so amazingly done. Um and you know like what if that happened to you? you know that would just be so scary so that that is number four and that is the man who knew too much moving on to number three we have rope oddly enough this was the first james stewart and hitch hitchcock collaboration i saw together uh of them together and this was also the first james stewart film i saw so it has a special place in my heart it's the second hitchcock film i saw and it's just a masterpiece I've seen it twice now. I'm planning to see it a third time next month. It's just a fantastic movie. It's so timeless. I think I could watch it, you know, on repeat. It's, of course, famous for having the, like, what, one take, even though it's actually ten takes and they're just all edited to look like it's in one take. But the performances, you know, I think out of the four films that James Stewart was in with Hitchcock, this is his most minor role. I think the spotlight is on John Dahl and Farley Granger's characters. 
they give great performances, but I think the standout is, of course, James Stewart, and I also like the supporting cast, um, and they do great. And it's about these two people, John Dahl and Farley Granger, who murder uh, one of their old classmates, and they host a party in the, his house to celebrate him, because I think he's like, I don't remember, like, what they're celebrating, uh, him, so he, they invite his family and their old school teacher, and they hide his body in a trunk, and they have dinner on that trunk, and it's just kind of like, it's dark, uh, sense of humor, it's like, basically Hitchcock's humor, because he had a dark sense of humor, uh, and the thing is, Rupert Cardell, who is James Stewart's char character, the school teacher, he catches on to what's going on, he gets suspicious of it, and then, like, they get caught, of course, that's spoiler, and I just, I think this is a fantastic film, it's a film that I will probably rewatch every single year, because I think it's gonna crack that 10 out of 10 someday, maybe even with that third watch, it will be a perfect film, so that is my number three choice, and that is Rope. Sorry, that's outside night noises. Moving on to number two, we have Rear Window. Now that I think about it, number two and one could basically be, you know, switched any time, any day. I, but I think Rear Window is, is number two for today. I love this movie so much. I think it's a perfect film. Uh, I think it's in my top 20 favorite movies of all time. It's one of Hitchcock's masterpieces, for sure. And James Stewart is so great. Uh, I'm not going to say the plot of this film along with my number one, because I think we all know the plots of these movies at this point. Like, there's no point in just saying them. The other two, you know, I don't think they've been talked about as much, so... I, I just wanted to put the spotlight on my least favorites, even though you should put the spotlight on your favorites. But why am I saying least favorites? They're they're all favorites of mine. Uh, but this one's a masterpiece. I think Grace Kelly, Thelma Ritter is the standout of this film, of course. James Stewart, I think he's probably, he probably gives a top three favorite Hitchcock performance. Now that I think about it, probably like top five. Because my, my number one is his performance in Vertigo. Number two is like, Anthony Perkins in Psycho. Three is probably Cary Grant in North by Northwest. Four is Claude Rains in Notorious. And then five is his performance in Rear Window. Uh, and I think he gives a fantastic performance. Espe like, it's amazing that he gives an amazing performance when he's in a wheelchair the entire film. And um, Raymond Burr, who plays Lars Thorvald, he also gives a great performance. And I think the best part about this film is the last like 20 minutes when um, Lars and LB Jeffries, who's James Stewart's character, have that the scuffle fight at the end. And it's just such a great movie. And that ending is so good too. I I love this movie. And it's along with Rope, one of the most rewatchable Hitchcock films. And at number one is Vertigo, no surprise. It's just a masterpiece. It's Hitchcock's best film and it's one of the best films of all time. Not even arguing. Uh, get the Blu-ray if you haven't. The uh, special features on this, especially the feature commentary with the late great director, William Friedkin, who like, passed away, I don't even know how long ago, like a, at least a week ago, two weeks, is fantastic. Uh, Kim Novak, James Stewart give uh, great performances. James Stewart gives my favorite performance of all time in this film. No surprise, I've said it numerous times. Uh, the cinematography is a, a joy to look at. Um, and it has topped the, uh, well, actually, no, it's at number two now on the Sight and Sounds, uh, 100 Best Movies list. Number one is, like, this, a four-hour movie about a woman cleaning her apartment. It's a French movie. It's, I don't even know what it's called, but it's on the Criterion Collection. If you haven't checked it out, which I haven't, uh, go check it out if you're interested. I'm not. I just find that a bit boring. And I think the supporting performances from Barbara Bell Geddes and Tom Helmore are great. And Kim Novak, like I said earlier, also gives a great performance. Um, it's also in the AFI 100 movies, 100 years, 100 movies. It's like at like number eight. It's one of Hitchcock, it's Hitchcock's highest rated movie on there. 
um yeah that's vertigo that's my like little speed review and also in this like disc or something i'm not showing you the code you can't access it i already used it there's this little like pamphlet advertising you know all the the other hitchcock movies you can get i have like two of the movies like this is the box set of course i own most of the movies in here do want to get it in north by northwest disc but i don't know where to find that like a I can only find it in box sets. Um, I own two of the movies, like, advertised here. Um, and one of them I still have to check out. So that is Vertigo. This is a masterpiece. And if I've said it numerous times already, but the first time I watched it, I really didn't connect to it. I found it a bit too boring. Did it appreciate the cinematography, the colorful Im imagery, and the performances. But it just didn't do much for me, and so the diehard, as the diehard Hitchcock fan, I said to myself, you know, Mason, why don't you revisit this film? Because if you don't, and you keep it, keep that 6 on 10 rating for the rest of your life, you'll be attacked by Hitchcock fans. So I decided to buy the Blu-ray, of course, check the movie out again, fell in love with it. Um, it's just a masterpiece. Um... Yeah, if you want to see the the other special bonus features, whatever you, you call it, here it is. And if you want to hear the plot plot synopsis, just go here. So that is Vertigo. That is my favorite James Stewart and Hitchcock collaboration. So that has been another video from me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm filming this in the night, but it's coming out in the day. So, that's a wrap.